Well, they they've been there's they have been well they they've been there's they have been. There I can find been. those. I can find those those uh, names. I'm for sorry, you. Yakfer, but There has been the issue. How did you feel when George Smitherman went to South Korea and entered into those agreements on behalf of the? Well, I'm very excited for the fact that seven billion dollars by Samsung is are being invested in Ontario. Excuse they me. We have created twenty thousand jobs in the province. Where? Uh, all across the province. Name all me one place. Name pro me one place. Toronto. Tilsonburg. Til Windsor. No, I'm sorry. There's no jobs in Tilsonburg. Ontario is creating majority of the jobs. We have created 114,000 jobs uh, since uh, July of 2010. They must be coming from somewhere. Safe electricity, don't use too much. Safe electricity, don't use too much. Well, electricity costs money and the, the, the least expensive electricity is the one we don't use. You say, you claim that, that we're going to employ 16, how long ago was this deal signed with Samsung? I believe in 2009. So this is two years? Yes. So far, there's not one manufacturing plant on behalf of Samsung yet operating. Neither in Tilsonburg nor in Windsor. And you know that. Yeah, you know that, yes, sir. You know that they're not in, they're not up and running yet. Those those contracts are being are are being implemented. Those jobs are being created. Uh, How many 20, jobs? How many jobs? My understanding is that roughly about thirteen thousand okay. jobs have been created. Okay. <laughs> says if his government is elected, if his party is elected to be the, the next government of Ontario, he will cancel that deal. He will cancel it. What is your reaction to that? It's, a, it's a very bad idea Why? because these are uh, real peoples and, and their lives and livelihoods. Uh, these are jobs. We we are going through a transition in this province. Uh, Mr. Green, we're talking about the manufacturing sector. We need to make sure that uh, we are setting our economy for a 21st century model of business so that we can serve our uh, American friends down south. To turn away and to say to a foreign investor, no, you are not welcome to invest your $7 billion in our province, to me, does not make sense. The $7 billion is being spent by the province of Ontario. That is not correct, Mr. Green. It you know that. Is. That is not it correct. Is. Samsung is investing $7 billion in the province of Ontario. When you said at the time on TVO with Steve Pakin that... The province of Ontario could not uh, possibly engage Hydro-Quebec in some kind of hydro deal because of uh, the national unity question, and I want you to expand on that. Well, the point I was making at that time, and you and I talked about this, uh, Rob, the point I was making is that being one of the largest provinces uh, in the country, uh, having one of the strongest economies, being the engine, we need to make sure that we have our own indigenous uh, stable source of electricity. That was the point uh, I was making. We do buy electricity from Quebec. We sell electricity to Quebec. The challenge with electricity that I am learning, and I'm not an expert in this area, I'm not an engineer, I'm not an engineer, is that you cannot store energy, put it in a truck, and take it from, from this part of Ontario to Southwest. Well, if Samsung is willing to invest those $7 billion, but I'd rather have those type of jobs being created right here in our province, and that's why Sam we got a deal with Samsung is investing $7 billion in Ontario, creating jobs for good, hardworking Ontarians. Okay, we've got to stop, and uh, we've got to get a Prozac for Lowell, and we'll be right back on the Lunch Bunch on CFRA. The Ottawa Centre Liberal MP, President of the Liberal Party of Ontario. This is the source, this very card, of probably hundreds of millions of dollars worth of health care fraud in the province of Ontario. In fact, the Auditor General... And there was a, there was a, that's why there was a reason these cards being changed, because they are antiquated. But they they're not no being changed. To, they're not being changed. I, People still have I'll them. be honest with you, folks. I don't know the answer, but I'll undertake okay. to find the answer as to how but they've been changed. Because, but my card did Auditor General, the Auditor General of Ontario, two, maybe three years ago, said... Six, six years ago. Six years ago, sorry. Said that there were about 300,000 more health cards issued than there were residents of the province of Ontario. Your government's done absolutely nothing about it. It's a huge fraud. These things in the, in the city of Toronto... These things sell anywhere from $15 up to about $1,000.
Well, government is always striving at all levels, both federal and provincial governments at all, at all levels, always striving to make sure that any kind of fraud um, is, is Well, there's being been no striving in this regard. This is a major fraud. And, and, and making sure that people who are not entitled to our services are not getting those services. Well, that's not of true. Of course, in this instance, we have to work very closely with the federal government because they're the one who, no, who are sorry. the custodian of immigration. No, I'm sorry. The federal government's got nothing to do with this. Well, no, they're the custodians of immigration. I'm sorry, sir. This, this, this is, this, we're talking about the health system, which is entirely a provincial jurisdiction. People still have. I'll them. be honest with you, folks. I don't know the answer, but I'll undertake. Well, they, they've been, they have been having a good time. <laughs> You're not supposed to have a good time on the lunch bunch.